today we're going to go ahead and draw a Halloween pumpkin. So let's get started, okay? So it's going to be real simple, easy for the holiday season. So let's go over here. We draw a curve on the left side right here. Kind of like, it looks like a C shape almost. I'm going to go over here on this side over here. Out, down, in. And we draw a curve, curve right here. Kind of like bumps within kind of the, you know, to kind of create the illusion of the pumpkin itself. So another bump right here, bump right here, bump right here, bump right here. Down. Over here, the same thing. Down, 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 down. Okay, so we have this like general shape, which is pretty easy. Anything roundish, um, you know, so. Now it's gonna go over here. We're gonna draw a curve down right here. Go over here on this side. Curve down right here. Cause I want him to look like deliriously happy. That's kind of what I want from him. We're already almost done, so stay with me, okay? Curve over here. Curve over here. And we're gonna fill this in around here. Fill that in. Over here on this side. And there we go. That's the eyes so far. It's going for the nose, and the nose is just gonna be like pointed shape above and then kind of pull across for this flat portion. I want the nose to kind of look a little bit smaller than you would think as far as the proportion goes. And then we're going to fill that in. You know, but when we're thinking of like that proportionally small nose, it's kind of, um, I don't know, it makes it look a little bit different, a little bit cute in a way, right? So speaking about cute, if you like, you know, not to interrupt the flow of the video, but if you like learning how to draw cute things, uh, I created a guide for you to draw anything cute anytime. So we go over like things like obviously the most, you know, if you're drawing the full body, bigger head, smaller body, bigger eyes to the to compared to the head. Everything is about proportion when you're drawing something cute. And that's good because it's really easy because all you have to do is remember that. That's it. And then apply it. You don't really have to. It's not as much training as just basic drawing. Um, you just want to like look at it. Now, you know. I go over the difference between chibi drawing and, you know, basic uh, cute drawing and uh, kind of how you can apply that. Um, you know, if you ever want to draw your animal, like let's say have a pet or you want to draw like a person in a cute way, this is easily what you can use and this will make it happen. Um, the best part about this, by the way, is that it's 100% free. That's something that I really want to emphasize. Completely free. Absolutely. So that's what it is for you. It is completely free for you. So go take a look at that. And it is it's all pictures. It's 10 pages. And it's like I said, made to print. Go check that out in the free link. Okay, the link is in the description. Uh, it's not gonna be free forever. So go pick it up right now if you can. Okay, so now over here, let's go to the mouth and I'm gonna pull in for the side of the mouth over here. Pulling down kind of a square nub right there. Keep pulling out over here. Square nub right here. Pull up. Right on. Now we're going to go over here. Curve down right here. Up. Square nub right there. Pulling right there. So far, so good. Okay. So we're gonna, now we're going to fill in this shape right here. Notice as we fit, fill this in, it's a lot of contrast, which is great. <coughs> So, 
and we're almost done already so I'm gonna go right here and I draw a curve right there for the stem go over here on this side and I'm going to do the same shape, but I want it to get bigger as it goes outward like that. Uh, there, like there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this stem, right? Because when you fill this in, it's going to give it, again, more contrast that you're going to be able to use um, to kind of show that off. Curve right here. That's for the leaf, you know, that kind of decorative, uh, you know, that kind of like plant, like basically the stem that comes out, out of some pumpkins. And what I want to do here is, if you if you want, you can add like little kind of leaves coming off of that. So we're dealing with solid shapes here. The cool part about the solid shape part is that you're always going to have that. I don't know. It's, it's always going to be easy for you to do it. It's, it's basically like easy for you to control when you have just a solid dark shape. Okay. So let's go into the striations of the pumpkin. That's pretty much it. So right here, we're thinking of, and I want to draw the line as thin as I can. Okay. I'm going to pull out over here. Almost like a marching ants kind of line going down the face. over here out over here right there curve out over here there you go and one last thing I'm gonna say you can do is draw a you could a thicker line you can do it toward the bottom, or you can do it around the entire shape. It's up to you. There you go. Line over here. Right on. And yeah, hopefully that you know that that does that does, that does well for you. So uh, what I want you to do is I want you to say Happy Halloween to me. I would say what's up in the comments. I really want to hear the Happy Halloween. If you can, I will reply to every single comment, even if it's an old video. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. And I want you to stay here for the next drawing lesson that we're going to start right now. Okay, so that was amazing. You finished this lesson, but keep it going. Keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here. It's going to be within the same theme and you wanna keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.